What is the biggest issue right now when it comes to buying a home? You asking me? Yes. Well, knob and tube is still lurking around, but the big one coming is aluminum. And the minute you f see a finished basement, you need to ask yourself questions. Was it finished properly? Not just the lipstick and mascara, the plumbing, the HVAC. We're talking the electrical. Because if there's a problem with the electrical, we're going to have to fish wiring in. Which After. means we're going to be chopping up your ceilings. You're on one right now. Uh, yeah, well, I'm on a few, yeah. No, I mean Phase House, right? Well, Phase House, yeah, I'm doing my best to give her some advice. And when she's said and done, by the time she plasters, re well, we're going we're gonna to have to go in and, of course, chop up the home in order to get all the wiring where it needs to be. Once that's done, then someone's going to come in and plaster the holes and then repaint. Where does she live in the meanwhile? Okay, is the question. this is a good point. Faye used to work for the Homes Group. And she's learned so much over the years on what she needs to do. So she went to buy a house with her husband. Mm -hmm. They buy a house. They ask the homeowners, mm -hmm. was permits pulled on everything, uh, on the electrical. They made actual, <laughs> the seller sign a paper that there was no knob and tube in the home. It made them feel better. Yeah. The homeowner actually signed that paper. Frank goes in to do a test and troubleshoot, which I recommend everyone does, and we'll talk about that in a minute. What is a test and troubleshoot? Frank goes in, does a test and troubleshoot. Lo and behold, there is knob and tube, not throughout the whole home, but nope. throughout enough key half. areas. Well, the entire second floor, and then the loft. Of course. That means I need to chop up the main floor in order to get to the second floor. Right. Because from the panel to that area must direct lines. So what's the problem with this? The problem with this is now they have, are going to experience a bill that they did not expect when they purchased this home. Yes. That becomes a legal issue, unfortunately, for the buyer, for the seller. And it's a, it's a legal issue that no one wants mm -hmm. because lawyers are the only ones who win. I don't care what anyone says. They're the ones that get paid. They're the ones that take it to court. And even if you win in court, was it worth the headache, the hassle, the stress? How in the hell do we solve that problem? Now, if you ask me, all you have to do if you're going to buy a house is pick up the phone and ask about that address through ESA. Were Was there, there permits pulled on this home? Well, there's a fee when we end up doing that. So there, I believe it's through And you the, can do this. Yeah, well, anyone can. Uh, it's through the, I believe it's Freedom, Inf Freedom of Information Act, and I think it's like 50 bucks. I believe. 50 Even if bucks. it's 100 it's cheap in order just to pick up the phone and double check that these people are telling the truth. Because the homeowner in the particular case that you're talking about did everything themselves. Like, when I say everything, everything. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. If ESA would have went out and inspected, at least you'd have a little bit of, of you know, trust that things were done correctly for cheap hundred bucks. This is the point of spending the money now and not having to spend any money later. So test and troubleshoot. This is something that I came up with years ago, and Frank, you'll remember this, that as we continue to film the television show, and house after house after house had electrical problems, plumbing problems, structural problems, it just never stops. And today, by the way, it still doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. I said, we should be setting up a test and troubleshoot for people that want to buy a house. People that live in a house and don't know if the electrical is up to, up to code. Do a test and troubleshoot. It's a simple thing. Tell me approximately how much it would cost to do a standard test and troubleshoot for you to go to anyone's home, to give them the advice they need, to give them the advice about buying a house, because if you're going to do an inspection process, you can do a test and troubleshoot on electrical, on plumbing, on everything. How well, much? When you're, okay, when you're, when you're dealing with the seller, the seller would have to give us written permission that they're gonna allow us to open up all the devices. So um, if we're going in and only using a plug-in tester and just plugging into the devices, that's one thing. If we're gonna open up each device, make sure that everything's nice and tight as it should be and ensure the wiring you know, is what they said it is, then it takes a lot more time. So an actual full test and troubleshoot, roughly, uh, depending on the size of the home, anywhere from six to eight hours worth of time would be needed. 
Um, we recommend new devices at that point because devices do wear. There is an end of life to devices, plugs and switches. Um, so roughly two grand would, uh, would end up taking up the day of time. Okay, but it's probably the best $2,000 anyone is ever going to spend, um, I, yeah. uh, as far as I'm concerned. But even on a simple test and troubleshoot, simple and I'm talking about if you want to buy a house, on a simple test and troubleshoot would, you, would be you going in without opening anything, looking at the panel, checking receptacles, doing a visual, that's going to be minimal. 600 bucks? Yep. Okay, 600 bucks. That's minimal. Why aren't we doing this? I honestly don't. I wish I could tell you why. I, I honestly don't know. Why didn't Faye do that? I th well, if you want me to give you what I think, I think that homeowners in today's market are too busy trying to not lose that deal. Which is not my enough point. inventory. Which is my point. Right now, there's such a boom in selling the houses yes. that people are lining up mm -hmm. and bidding on these houses. Yes. People are getting way over asking, and we're letting go of the most important things that we need to know. Is this home safe for me, my children, mm -hmm. and the future? 